Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been on in a while because I've been saving my coins for sass. I was so excited. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I have bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. Beautiful packaging in the pink. It's the beveled packaging. Um, the scent notes are bourbon, vanilla, garden, strawberry, apricot, nectar, pink, jasmine, and white oak. And it's a beautiful scent. It smells exactly like that. The bourbon comes in. The strawberry. I love the strawberry note in this. And the vanilla. Smells beautiful. Tropidelic. I absolutely love and adore this scent. I wish I would have got another one. Or two. Or three. <laughs> More. But anyways. Beautiful packaging. And the scent notes are Irresistible Passion Flower. Ylang Ylang. Misty Rainforest. Oh, it's so good. It's a really beautiful scent. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. I mean, look. I've already used this one a ton. You can see. So, I've been using the hound out of that. But anyways, next up is Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And the scent notes are Wild Madagascar Accord, African Pear, and Wild Jasmine. And it smells beautiful. It's a beautiful vanilla. It's not real sweet, but it's not bitter. It's just, it's a beautiful vanilla. And I think I'm going to, it's a good one for summer. But I think I'm going to use it for like fall, winter time. So I think it would be suited best then. And in the summer and spring, I mean, you can wear that one all year round, really. Okay, next up is Tahiti Island Dream. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And you will notice that most of my fragrances are summer themed. <laughs> I will get some in the fall and the winter, depending on what they are, if I like them, you know. And But most of them are summer themed, because summer is my favorite season. You get to go swimming, you get to do fun stuff. All the beautiful summer scents come out. Look at the beautiful packaging, I love it. Scent notes are fresh coconut water, sparkling mandarin, kiwi blossom, lush frangipani, Tahitian vanilla musk. Just beautiful. You can smell the coconut water. It smells so good. It's kind of like at the beach mixed with let's see. There you go. At the beach mixed with endless sea. But with the coconut water scent. Um, of course, it's its own scent. It's not a repackage of this or uh, at the beach or anything. It's not, it's not ex identical to those. I mean, of course, they've had Tahiti Island Dream before in the past. But it's not a repackage of anything else but its own thing as far as I know. But anyways, um, this is one I already had. I just wanted to use it for reference. Beautiful scent. Next up is Ice Lemon Pound Cake. This is the second year they've come out with this. I had one from the first uh, time, which was last year, and it was really good. Beautiful cake scent. I mean, the best cake scent that they have put in any of their cake scents. I mean, Strawberry Pound Cake is so good, too. And Ice Lemon Pound Cake, and they are very similar on being sweet and gourmand, but this tops them all as far as the cake scent that's in it it's actually a cake scent but uh strawberry pound cake is really good but anyways the scent notes are sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest fluffy pound cake oh if you love lemon or and it's not like a real citrusy scent i mean it has the lemon but it has that beautiful cake mixed in with the beautiful lemon it's so good so i got four Okay, next up, I have the beautiful Freesia. This has been out in the past. I don't know if I liked it in the past or not, but I do like Freesia. Um, it's been so long ago because I've been going to Bath & Body Works since the 90s, and I've had some breaks, you know, throughout that time, of course, but um, I recall it being... A beautiful scent but I'm not really sure but anyways it, it definitely is right now so y'all need to pick some of that up too Fra fragrance notes are freesia creamy hyacinth and white musk it is a beautiful scent it's not um, 
it's not like luminous or you know a heavy floral it is a lighter brighter floral but in the in the most beautiful way it's not um light where you can't smell it um i just mean it's a, a softer brighter floral rather and i just absolutely love it so i got it in four too and i was surprised on that i actually got you know when i did my first order i only got like one or two of these things to try them out and then i was like oh i like this so i need to get four of each one you know so <laughs> anyways moving on to cotton candy clouds i loved this when it came out in boardwalk taffy and i know each uh repackage of Cotton Candy Clouds is from Boardwalk Taffy, but when they came out with Boardwalk Taffy, I feel like it was, I mean, yes, it's the same, but I feel like that was the best one out of all of them, but they are all beautiful and smell the same, but that first one, something about it. Fragrance notes are spun sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla, just a beautiful cotton candy sweet scent. It's beautiful. Sometimes it does give me a headache because it is so sweet, but it's so good, and I use it anyway. So, and they finally put it in the Cotton Candy Clouds packaging, like I think they should have before, instead of doing like um, Cloud Nine, I think it is. And I mean that one would go perfectly with the clouds too, but. Um, what was that other one? Pastel Skies. That was a good one too, but I think Cotton Candy Clouds should have been in a cloud package then too as well but it's beautiful and they came out with it this year okay next up is the beautiful and long time remembered and nostalgic fragrance cucumber melon i absolutely do love this one fragrance notes are crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit sheer woods it smells so good I mean so fresh and so clean it's beautiful i know it gets brought you know brought back all the time but i do love it and cucumber melon and country apple were the top two main reasons of my loving bath and body Works. so i do still love her and i do still still really love country apple too and it has fragrance notes of apple blossom fresh mugway sheer sunlight orchard woods beautiful scent i love it but anyways i already had that so future reference oh and by the way if you wanted to know the scent notes on this that i already had um fresh bergamot saltwater lily ocean driftwood on the endless sea that i had already had okay moving on confetti daydream i had this and when it was in the purple packaging it was like a very light well, purple packaging and it was um it was kind of like it was kind of like this uh print i can't think of the name of it right offhand but anyways um it was in this but it was a very light purple and it was opaque you couldn't see through it um but it was beautiful but anyways the scent notes are fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, and blue iris. Beautiful scent. Oh, I love this. That iris that's in butterfly, if you like butterfly, I think this is, is a better one than butterfly. And butterfly is pretty, but confetti daydream, she is beautiful. Okay. Whipped coconut milkshake. I was going to get this last year, but I decided not to because I didn't think I would like it. But I decided to get it this year. Fragrance notes are vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, sugared amber. It is a sweet coconut scent. And I do really like it. It's very, very light though. So you don't stay long. I can smell each of the notes. But she's like a, a skin scent after a while. But she is really good. You could probably layer it up. Or put it with maybe Madagascar Vanilla. I think those two would probably go good together. Or any kind of scent. You could match this with a lot. But it does smell really good and it is sweet. It's not strong like I thought it would be because, 
you know, of the amber. So I thought, ah, oh, it's going to be too strong. You know, like fairy tale, which I did, you know, really love fairy tale at first, but it just began to be too strong for me. So I just, but anyways, uh, it's really good and it's toned down. So if you like a light coconut, sweet coconut scent, creamy, it's good. Now Bridgerton, Diamond of the Season, beautiful packaging, the B. Scent notes are Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. Now, I don't know about this one. I mean, when I smell it through the lid and it hadn't been sprayed, it's you can smell the peach lightly. But it don't smell like no peach rings. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's got a heavier scent to it. Kind of like a... I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, kind of like Calvin Klein Euphoria or Dior Poison. Um, there's like a spicy scent. Or like... I don't know if that's even what that is, but it's some kind of different scent that might take time getting used to or everybody might not like. Um, I don't really like it. It's strong, like a man's cologne almost, and those perfumes are similar to that too, or heavy. And I mean, I can smell the peach part, just smelling the, but it's not real strong. I mean, it's it's a light peach. And when you spray it and it dries down and stuff, I don't get no, you know, peach. I don't get that peach. I don't understand the peach ring thing to my scent nose preference or whatever you want to call it. To my sense, I don't get peach rings. I do not at all. I do get some peach. I mean, the jasmine, I don't know. I don't know. You'll just have to smell that one. I wouldn't blind buy that one. I mean, you might like it if you blind bought it. But, um, I'm going to try to use it anyways. But, and maybe I'll grow to like it. Or, maybe I'll give it away. I'm not sure. I'm going to spray it on my wrist real quick. Okay. I sprayed it on my wrist. I mean, I could see how people would say the peach ring thing at first. And I can smell more of the jasmine, like on first initial spray. The peach and the jasmine, but that daffodil. Uh, there's clearly something else in there, too, besides just those three. I don't know. Oh, maybe it was just that first day that I smelled it. It was... Because I was smelling all of these. Because I was excited. And I was like, oh, let's smell them all. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is good. Because uh, first impressions aren't always best to go on. Especially if you smell a bunch of other stuff. But... I don't know, it smells a little sweeter and peachier and jasmine -er than it did before, so I don't know. You better just spray it on you a little bit and then smell it throughout the day. See if you like it or just, I don't know. Because I remember the day that I sprayed it on me, I just did not like it. And really didn't smell hardly any peach at all. And then after it dried down for a while, it had a really strong smell. I don't know. Maybe I'll grow to like it. I mean, it seems a little better this time around. So, I don't know. Use your own judgment. <laughs> Citrus. Oh, my gosh. Now, I love this one. I know I say that about a lot. But, I mean, this one is a really good one, too. It's beautiful. At first, I wasn't going to get it because I do love citrus scents. But, you know, I already had some. And uh, I thought, well, if it's a lot like the others, I'm not really going to get it. But then I heard people talk about how good it was and the dry down. And people who don't normally like citrus scents liked it. And I thought, 
well, maybe there's something to this one. So I tried this one out and the scent notes are salty citrus and bright stone fruits for a bold zesty scent. And it is citrusy at first. Like even smelling through the cap. You can smell the citrus, but it has a cr creamy, soft, um, perfumey scent that comes out after the dry down. And you can kind of smell that when you smell the citrus at first. But it just dries down into something so beautiful. Just, I really do love it. It's so good. It really is that good. I mean, I truly love this one. And if I make another order, I know there's a $5.95 sale, I believe, coming up July the 5th and 6th. So, I think I may get some more of those. I don't know, that Bridgerton might be uh, rubbing off on me a little bit now. <laughs> but the first time I smelled it, it was not good. Yeah, but I smelled all of these <laughs> that same day so I mean I don't know it was probably just scented out well I don't know that scent that I smelled that first day is starting to come out I don't know if it's the daffodil because I've got stuff with jasmine and stuff with peach and I did smell those in it this second time around or I didn't as much in the first time um, but that stronger scent that really came out the first time. It's starting to come out. Maybe it's the daffodil. And I love beautiful daffodil flowers. One of my favorites. But the smell, I don't know. I'm going to keep working on her. Because I think she might rub off on me. Or she might give me a headache. I'm not sure. Or I may just have to give her away. Because there's just something too strong in there that I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. Anyways... Get y'all some of these. All of these are beautiful scents. That's why I got them. Um, Bridgerton is a beautiful scent for people, but it may not be for everyone as per all of these. Um, like this one I'm on the fence about. I will still have to keep trying and testing her out. So we shall see. And since I had a little bit of a Walmart haul, I only got three things. I thought I would show it to you while I had you on here. I decided to try this EOS um, fragrance free lotion it's seven nourishing oils plus butter soothing protection for dry skin natural shea wild grown sustainable made for sensitive skin it's got all kinds of stuff in there that's good for you or so it says and it is 16 fluid ounces and it's got a pump Alright, so I have not tried it out yet, so I don't know how well it goes, but I'm sure it's good. And then Bodycology Watermelon Splash. They are making their bottles like Bath & Body Works now. Let's see. It says... I thought it was going to say... Oh, it's on the front. Juicy Melon and Fruit Medley. And it does smell really good. There is some kind of weird smell, like... Kind of like when, let's see, what was that scent that came out with, um, wrapped in vanilla? Oh, what was that? Anyways, there was a scent that came out with wrapped in vanilla. And I really like the scent, but like, when you smell it from the cap, like before you spray it, or like an after smell for a short time, smells kind of funky, and it's in both of them like all the bottles that I smelled but it it doesn't mess up the fragrance once you put it on or anything kind of like a butane smell but different or similar to it but it's not anyways it smells really good like watermelon and fruit medley it's got more than just watermelon in it it's a really good summer scent and this one was what really caught my eye I was looking for this and I ended up seeing this one I may have seen this on someone's video before, but it smells so good. It is the best lemon scent besides ice lemon pound cake and other citrus scents, of course. But 
it is a really good lemon scent sunny citrus and warm amber and don't be thrown off by the citrus and the amber it's good it's like a sweet um lemony scent it's and it's not like cleaning products i don't feel like it is but i love citrus so i mean you know um but it's beautiful it's really good i think they're both great and i'm happy to have them as well as all of these so yeah thank y'all for watching my video and may god bless you all remember i love you all and always 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 remember jesus loves you more and look up in the bible john 3:16 that is a good scripture it's good to have the word in your life so that's a good to do thing for y'all today is go look that scripture up because he loves you so much i love you all have a great day and a happy fourth of july bye